So I just finished cutting out all the pieces for my next sewing make, which is a jumpsuit, Simplicity 9382. I looked at this pattern and I decided that I wanted to widen the legs. So as I was cutting out the pattern, I decided to just do a slash and spread. And I spread the leg opening to about three and three quarters of an inch wide. And this pattern does have a lot of features. I think I'm going to make view B. And the only difference that I noticed between view B and view A is that view B has elastic around the hem of the leg opening. I decided that I don't want to put the front pocket on the upper bib or bodice area. I don't think I want to put a pocket on the back. It just has one pocket in the pattern that goes on the back side, on the right back side, I believe. Other than that, I think I will do everything else. It calls for buttons and there are pleats in the front, pleats in the back and straps that tie in the back. So I think that that should be really cute. So I like all the details in this pattern. Now the only thing is I actually do not have any fabric. So I am on my way to Joanne Fabric so I can see if I can find some fabric that I want to use to make this jumpsuit. Scissors right here um, oh. to snip my threads with. And um, yeah, they stopped me because the blades were, um, it turns out that they were like an eighth of an inch smaller than the limit at the time. There was a lady in the store talking about Girl Scout cookies and now I want some. Mind you, I already had like three boxes this year, but her talking about those thin mints makes me want some more. So I just purchased this linen like black fabric and because the jumpsuit has pleats in it, I wanted something that I thought would drape nicely with the pleats. And on the way over here I looked in the mailer and there was not a pattern sale but when I got in there they had signs out saying that McCall's and Berta were on sale so I was like okay I didn't pick up any Berta patterns but I did pick up two McCall's and the first one is McCall 7957 I purchased this one because I recently made some high-waisted pants and I thought that this short crop top would look nice with a high-waisted garment like maybe a high-waisted pant or a high-waisted skirt so I like view A the one that the model is wearing I think that that is really cute and it says that this pattern is easy and it is calling for woven fabric the next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8019. I actually like the jacket that the model is wearing, but I would like to do mine. If I make this, I would do mine in an all solid color. So those are the only two patterns I picked up. Now I am ready to start working on my jumpsuit. So I've decided to go ahead and make view A the view that doesn't have the elastic around the edge of the leg. I am pretty much done with the jumpsuit. I just need to hem it, but I did want to share that I had trouble with step number 25. I followed the directions. I did everything that step number 25 said to do. 
I picked and unpicked and I just could not get this little flap here, this extension, to fold out properly. So I am not sure how that is supposed to go. If anybody has any ideas, I would love to hear how this was supposed to go together. But what I just did is I just folded the back the best way that I could. So when I wear it, the back is actually going to be open, but it's supposed to have buttons here and fold over to the other side, but I couldn't get it to do that. And another thing is the loop was really narrow. So the strap goes through it, but it goes through it with a bend in there. So if you make this, you may want to widen the strap. I actually called and spoke to someone at Simplicity and I am going to demonstrate what I believe she was telling me to do to complete step number 25. So I grabbed some scrap fabric to try to see if I can do the steps that I was walked through over the phone. And I did the fold back accordion style fold and then I sewed from the dot over to the edge. Then the next step, number 26, says to turn the left back facing to the inside along the fold line. So that would be this. I cannot figure out how to turn this to the inside. So I tried where you poke it out, but there's so much bulk down here, it doesn't turn out properly it's not making a whole lot of sense because you have a slant here even after I have trimmed it and then you're supposed to lap this side over to this side and then you're supposed to sew the bottoms together but they don't connect one bottom is on the inside right here so how am I supposed to sew these two together? Which is what they're doing and demonstrating here in this step. Then I thought, well, maybe I'm not supposed to sew it to the leg because I can't turn it out. So maybe I'm just supposed to sew the flap together, but that didn't work either. So then I thought, well, maybe you're supposed to turn the back facing to the inside and have the pant leg on top. And then you have like a little fold here. I tried that and I tried matching things up that way. And it still didn't make sense because once I sewed the bottom to try it and then I flipped it over and I turned it over, it just wasn't right. So I actually still don't know how step number 25 is supposed to be done. This is the back pattern piece number 10 and this is the extension that I've been having trouble figuring out and I just realized that you know what I could have actually just cut the extension off and just put a zipper in the back. So here is my final version of this 2021 pattern that calls for woven fabrics. I cut out a size 6 and there are side pockets and also I decided to add a snap in the back opening area. The other day I was shopping at Whole Foods and I was going up and down the aisles. I went to the cookie aisle and I found these. So this is my love share which is Tate's Bake Shop chocolate chip cookies. But what's different about these is that they are vegan so I'm excited about these I tried them already and I like them I thought that they were really good which is why I wanted to share them with you